Hello everybody, welcome to Planeta Isla. Today we're going to go over the Ancient Civilization Part 4, Conosus. Make sure to watch until the end because it's one of the most amazing civilizations I've ever seen. Knossos is the capital of the legendary king Minos and the principal center of the Minoan, the earliest of the Aegean civilization. It is known as the largest Bronze Age archaeological site in Crete and has been called Europe's oldest city. The Palace of Knossos became the ceremonial and political center of the Minoan civilization and culture. The Minoan civilization has been described as the earliest of its kind in Europe. And historian Will Durant called Minoans the first link in the European chain. It was abandoned at the end of the late Bronze Age circa 1380 to 1100 BC for a known reason. It might be due to many disasters that happened during that period. During the first palace period, which was around 2000 BC, it had a population of as many as 18,000 people. After 1700 BC, the palace and surrounding city had about 100,000 people. Knossos had an exceptionally long history of human settlement, beginning with the founding of the first Neolithic settlement around 7,000 BCE. Neolithic period is the final division of the Stone Age. Knossos is in Heraklion, in the island of Crete. It has a thick Neolithic layer indicating the site was a sequence of settlements before the palace period. The earliest was placed on bedrock. In 1878, excavation was done by Minos Kaloka Irinos a native Heraklion, but he was stopped by landowners at the time. He found gigantic jars called pithoi and other significant artifacts. A guy attempted to buy the whole property, but it was too expensive. After a few years, excavation was stopped until an English Archaeologists began a systematic excavation which took 35 years. He restored Conossos but was criticized for using too much cement. If not for his stubbornness, Conossos will not be what it is today. That archaeologist is Sir Arthur Evans. When he did the excavation, it revealed a palace and surrounding buildings that were the center of a sophisticated Bronze Age culture that dominated the Aegean between the 1600 and 1400 BC. The first human inhabitants of Knossos established an agricultural society based on wheat and livestock grazing. At the beginning of the early Minoan period, they began using bronze and making glazed pottery, engraved seals, and gold jewelry. A hieroglyphic script was invented, and trade with the Egyptians was undertaken. Knossos consisted of isolated structures built around a rectangular court. The people of Knossos produced fine polychrome pottery on a black glazed ground during this period. About 1720 BC, a destructive earthquake leveled most of Knossos. The palace was rebuilt, this time with extensive colonnades and flights of stairs connecting the different buildings on the hilly side. The remains of this palace occupy the excavated site today. 
The palace has a throne room in this area and it consists of a gypsum chair in which sat the kings of Knossos. This area of the palace has a long, narrow basement rooms that serve as a storage magazines for wheat, oil, and treasure. An elaborate system of drains, conduits, and pipes provided water and sanitation for the palace. The art of Minoan fresco painting reached its peak at this time with scenes of dancing, sports, and dolphins done in a naturalistic style. Sometime after 1400 BC, what even called the last palace of Knossos was destroyed by a fire of a certain origin, and fires destroyed many other Cretan settlements at this time. Knossos was reduced to the status of a mere town. There are myths about this palace, the monstrous Minotaur, a half-man, half-bull creature that devoured young virgins. Another one is the labyrinth, which was where the Minotaur was held and fed with the flesh of Athenian youngsters. Labyrinth or maze came from the word labris, which is a double-bladed axe. Evans found Labris among the ruins. During the Copper Age, there was no palace that can surpass the grandeur and opulence of the palace in Knossos. It measures 22,000 square meters with 1,500 rooms, five stories high, two cobbled courtyards, sanctuaries, storage rooms, and workshop areas. Knossos is the only palace to have a throne room. The palace was meticulously designed and adjust perfectly to keep it warm during winter and cool during summer and with lights coming in from different areas. There was an aqueduct where water was distributed in different houses within the city. It also has drainage. It is said that Knossos holds the oldest throne in Europe, the first road of Europe and the first flush toilet. Religion played an important part of their lives. One theory is that the Minoan worship bulls because the large collection in the palace. Bulls are a main decorative feature which is to be related to the religion of the Minoans. During the Stone Age, bull was a representation of fertility. The palace was destroyed by earthquake, but it was immediately renovated, and more buildings were added. The remains of these buildings are the archaeological site that can be seen today. The palace was completely destroyed again twice, and the people changed the name, Knossos was gone. Knossos was the only palace that was rebuilt three times before it was abandoned. Some of the frescoes are still in Knossos while most of the artifacts found in the palace are now on display at the Rakyon Museum. There were no statues found in the palace. The palace of Minos is not an endangered site as it is not a part of the UNESCO program, but still has tourists that visit the ruins. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss videos of ancient civilization. If you're already a subscriber, leave your comments below and I'll personally respond to your comments.